Hi there, Tanya Van here with tanyasbling.com. I'm a paparazzi accessories independent consultant and producer, and I am here with another video, and I'm in my closet. <laughs> Hey, it's a good place to get away without being interrupted. So what can you say? So I am here today with uh, another from the files video. That's what I'm going to do today. And this is from my upline Tara's team page and it is uh, team building. So it's team building tips, FAQ and answers. Um, but before I do this, in case you don't know, Paparazzi Accessories um, is beautiful jewelry, lead and nickel free. Everything is $5 except for our signature line. Everything I'm wearing is Paparazzi. This is actually my birthday um, necklace that I just got in the mail today from Paparazzi because my birthday is 9-11. <laughs> and this is what they sent me. I got this really cute necklace. It says achieve, inspire, and love, and it has a little key on there, and these really gorgeous earrings came with it, and then I also have on a gorgeous wrap bracelet. This is um, suede. So we have a really cute jewelry, so if you haven't heard of it, where have you been? <laughs> you can check it out on my website, tanyasbling.com. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is team building and uh, I'm going to read some of this and then I'm also going to share some of my own personal experiences with you. So I have 135 um, ish people in my uh, in my team and my downline and I have 35 personally sponsored consultants um, that I've personally sponsored actually. 36 because I just had someone join today. Shout out to Myra. <laughs> so, um, so I'll share a little bit about my um, team building, you know, experiences and, and methods, I guess. And then I'll also share information from our file files as well. So, um, and as always, if you would like this file, just let me know in the comments. Send me your email address and I will send you an email of this, um, this file. All right, so what she says here, are you trying to be begin building a team? Have you already started but want to add some more team members? Maybe you're going for promotion to director. Let's do it. Or executive director or premier director or producer. <laughs> yes, it's always smart to continue building your team. Um, so here she says, the number one thing to remember when you're trying to build a team is to not stop partying, not stop partying. Your parties, sales, live sales, and interaction with your shopping group, VIP members is the most important piece of team building. And I have to say this is true because I've slowed down on my partying a lot, a lot, a lot. And it's just, I know it's just for this time that I'm going through um, with us buying this new house and, um, you know, launching our radio show and my job, just some other things. Um, I do still party and I do still post and all of that, but it's not like it was when I was doing it every week at the same time, same day, consistently. Um, it, and even with my uploading YouTube videos consistently, um, I did notice that my team building was growing. It was growing, well, it's still growing fast now, but it's because I have more volume, but like my personally sponsored, I guess I should say, was growing faster when I was doing that stuff consistently. So I will say that that, that is very true. Um, and that is something to definitely take seriously. Uh, your party sales, live sales, and interaction with your shopping group of VIP members is the most important piece of team building. Most often, your repeat customers or paparazzi addicts are the first to sign on to sell alongside you. They are, they are also more likely to become successful because they are in love with the product already. So that's definitely very true. And they see that you're taking your business seriously and if you take your business seriously then they will take they will want to sign up on your team because they want to be on the team of someone who takes their business seriously because 
that's what they want to help coach them along in their business, right? All right, so um, she says, know that it can take people a little while to fully think about this decision. Give them the time to do so. Instead of asking them if they're ready to sign up to sell when you check in, ask them if they'd like to attend your next live sale or posted party. That's a great tip. Um, and then she said, that's what officially hooked me. Um, hey, Georgia, I have a live sale tonight. Want to come? Let them watch and observe you. This will help them decide if this is a good fit for them or not. So I think that's a really good idea. Some other things that I do too, um, sometimes, um, if I have somebody kind of on the fence, uh, well, one thing, I have a group on Facebook called Considering Joining Paparazzi. So I put everyone in there when they tell me they're interested, and then I tag them in different posts that I have in there that I feel would be, you know, interesting to them. That way I'm not having to repeat the same stuff over and over again or send the same videos over and over again or the same information. It's all there, and I just tag them. So I do that. Also, um, in that group, sometimes I will, when people join, I'll post in there, congratulations, you know, to someone joining, because that shows that person who's in that group thinking about joining, oh, people are joining, you know? Um, so that's another thing that I'll do. Um, I also will, um, oh, what was I just thinking about as far as what she just said? I forgot. I'll probably come back to it. All right, so she said, um, oh, I know, sometimes I'll add them to my team page, and not permanently, but just like for a day or so, um, and let them see kind of how I coach my team, what the team has to say, and, um, you know, I'll say, so-and-so is, uh, you know, here for the day, just checking us out, thinking about joining, and then, like, my team members will say stuff to that person. Um, I've done that before, and that actually was good, um, I think. I've done it at least two times and I think both people joined. So try that, you know, um, let's see here. So then she says, um, some of the questions they may ask is how do I get started? Um, so she says, uh, she gives her response in here, which I'm not going to read like all of this. I will share the file if you're interested. So just let me know. Um, does it cost anything to sign up? how much, so she gives some answers there. And then she gives some tips, so let's go through these. Uh, talk to them about things other than paparazzi. That's very true. I keep it very low pressure, very personal, friendly. I just share my personal story, my experience. I don't push it, I just share you know, why I joined, what I love about it, um, my experiences, like my promotions that I've received, uh, the sales that I've like done or, you know, how much I can make or, um, you know, just anything that I have to share that's positive. And I think, you know, what, what would I want to know if I was thinking about joining or when I was thinking about joining, what did I want to know? And that's the stuff that I share. And then I do also keep it real and, you know, share just, other things too that I think they would find helpful. Like, um, I had someone ask me about jewelry breaking and I was very upfront and honest about that. And, um, I mean, it's still, a, even my answer to that is a positive answer. Um, but I, it's a real answer too. Like I will never lie. You know, I, I like people to know what they're getting into and to make sure that this is a right fit for them. So, um, let's see. Uh, just to answer that, in case you're not a consultant, we don't have a lot of jewelry that break. Um, but there is some, as in any, what you would expect, you know. So, um, and usually it's like an O-ring, like maybe the little O-ring, like this little, these little circle things are a little loose. And all you have to do is re-put it on and tighten it, and it's no big deal. Um, if it, something does break, you can send it back to customer service. They're very good about that. So... I just share that information. <laughs> I didn't want to leave that hanging out there like, wait a minute, is that a problem? <laughs> All right, so um, let's see here. She also talks about uh, talking to everyone, mentioning it awesome. Um, she said, definitely during your live videos or if you're doing a um, posting party to make sure you mention the opportunity, I definitely do that. Um, posting in yard sale sites, 
she said that she personally signed many from that. That's how she got me was from a yard sale site. Uh, so I know that for a fact um, that she does that and it works. Um, she also says to, let's see, this is good. Are you talking to people about joining your team and they're just sitting on that fence? Usually there are five main reasons someone is sitting on that fence and is afraid to take the leap. You need to help them realize that whatever barrier is holding them back, they can overcome it. So here are some of the most common things people say stop them from selling or joining. They don't want to be salesy or pushy, definitely. And this is <laughs> far from you don't have to be salesy or push, pushy with $5 jewelry. <laughs> $5 beautiful jewelry, I should say. Um, they don't want to bug their friends about buying from them. They don't want to post all over their Facebook about paparazzi and hosting a party, etc. How to overcome this? You need to be a role model for them. Are you salesy and pushy? Then they're going to think you need to be salesy and pushy to make the business work. If you're not, then you just tell them that. Just say, do you see me being salesy and pushy? No, I just share the jewelry, show the jewelry, share my love for the jewelry, and have fun doing it and people want to buy it or they want to join my team. It's as simple as that. Um, let's see next. They don't have the money. If money is really the issue, help them figure out how to come up with the money. If they really want it, they will. Can they sell something? Use PayPal credit. Will a kit earning party help them come up with the last 20 to $30 to make it happen? Um, for this one, if they want it bad enough, they'll be open to your suggestions. So yeah, I've done that kit earning parties with people. Um, you know, you do a sale with them and for every, um, well, you do it, you can do it different ways. But what I did is um, for every piece that sold, a dollar went towards their, uh, was that what I did? Every piece a dollar went towards their kit. Yeah, I think that's right. So, um, you know, I had somebody who made, um, I want to say like $50 towards her kit. So, yeah, you can just do something like that. They could do a couple of parties. They could do a back office party and a live sale on Facebook and maybe carry like a little a bling bag and sell jewelry in person to their friends and family. And all of that combined could help them with earning their kit. Um, I've also talked with a friend about helping me, like come and helping me run my business, do my lives, do my shipping. And I'll share some of my um, profit with you to go towards your kit. So, you know, just be creative and help them. If they really want it, then, you know, they can definitely earn uh, money towards their kit if you're willing to work with them in that way. All right, let's see here. Um, I think that's about it for that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, she just says, you could have the opportunity for someone that is going to change their life. And that's true. I've had so many people on my team tell me how rewarding this business is for them. I've seen people just evolve and transform. And, um, you know, you start working on yourself more when you're in any direct sales business, really. But I mean, definitely with jewelry, you're wearing beautiful jewelry, you're going live on Facebook. You start wearing more makeup and doing your hair more and losing weight like I did. I gained some of it back, but that's going to change. You'll see. <laughs> Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, it's so, it's just a great, uh, you meet great friends. You learn great things about running a business and um, just encouragement and in life in general, overcoming obstacles. So it's a wonderful opportunity. It is a life-changing opportunity. And that's something that you should want to share with other people. Um, let's see. She says, host a shopportunity event. People can shop and ask questions about selling at the same time. That's cute. I haven't tried that. Um, a posted event talking about the business, why you love it, and all of the information above. That's another good idea. And a Facebook Live event where you're doing a live Q&A about your business. And in the Considering Joining Paparazzi group that I have on Facebook, I do have um, a couple of those Facebook Live events that my uplines um, have done, including one who's an A-lister. 
and they talk about the business opportunities. So those are both really great and they got a ton of people to sign um, doing those live events. So it is a good idea. And when I add people to that considering joining paparazzi group, I tag them in those so they can go back and I mean, they can watch it, you know, even though they didn't catch it live. Um, and I just tell them to let me know if they have any questions. Um, so that's pretty much it. There's some more information here, but, um, Oh, one other really good tip is she says she gives some tips on here of what to post in the yard sale sites and um, she said as always post late at night or early in the morning and in as many yard sale sites as you can change up the wording every five to six posts when posting in a row and watch how many you post in in a 24-hour period to avoid Facebook jail <laughs> so this is great um, I think that I shared most of my personal information or, you know, how I do it. Um, definitely the better you present yourself, the more fun that you look like you're having. Well, I mean, you really are having, but that it's visible. Um, the joy that you have about the business. I do a lot of posts too. Like I've done posts on what my con commission check, um, what I bought with my commission check or, um, what else have I done? Um, like one time I went and bought groceries with just my money from my last live sale. And I posted a picture of my shopping cart full of groceries. And I said, paid for with paparazzi. Um, or thank you for helping me buy groceries this week. <laughs> um, I've posted, like when we moved into this house, my commission check paid for our security system. So I posted a picture of the house with the ADT sign and I said, you know, security paid for by paparazzi. So um, just be creative and make it about your real life. And even when you're talking to people, share stories like that. Don't just go into facts and figures. That stuff is boring. Um, people want to hear your real life story. All right, I got to go. My battery on my laptop is is really low, about to die, so I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff, and keep on blinging on. God bless. Bye.